Well, a new name moves on into the final. A first time Grand Slam final for Yannick Sinner at the expense of a 10-time Australian Open champion Novak Djokovic. He has been sent packing extraordinary scenes extraordinary match. We've got Tim, Matt and Laura joining us from Melbourne as well. Laura, I've got to start with you. It feels like a seismic shift, this one, a changing of the guards of, of some sort. Do you feel that now around the ground behind you? What's it like there, firstly? Uh, I, I will admit the atmosphere behind me in Garden Square was slightly muted actually when Sinner won because there's certainly a lot of Novak Djokovic fans behind me. They had their flags, they were ready to celebrate and, and make it more of the same from what they they saw last year. Uh, but Sinner just crashed the party totally. He was outstanding from start to finish. I love that he didn't get disappointed after having the match point in the third set. He just committed to the game plan even more. And it, it feels like we've felt this result coming, haven't we? We from the from the last few months from the end of last year especially but to do it in, the, in a best of five match at a grand slam with so many people who didn't maybe think that he could do it uh, based on his performance at Wimbledon in the semi-finals last year just phenomenal and uh, such a nice guy as well so so easy to chat to you know he's always got such a good energy around him and his team um, in the player areas so yeah I'm sure there's a lot of happy people uh, in the locker room who've been waiting for this to happen for him. Matt, that's exactly what you picked up on there as well. He grew up in the South Tyrol region, obviously in Italy, and you know he always cites, doesn't he, the hard work that his mum and dad put in as well in the ski resorts, the long hours they put in, which is why he's grounded. And you said the mountains make you that kind of person. <laughs> well, it's made me more grounded since I moved to the mountains in uh, in America. I think that the, the fact that he was such a great skier, and when you grow up in that culture of skiing, I mean, they're all friends. Uh, my daughter used to, be, used to race for a ski team, and I always asked her, how did you do? And said, well, we won the under fourth. I'm like, no, you. So they, even though it's an individual sport, they, they treat it like a team sport in skiing, and I think Sinner is the same. Shall we take a pause there? Because the man of the moment, Yannick Sinner, is with Babsy. Let's hear his thoughts. I cannot wait for this, Babsy. Winner, winner, Yannick Sinner. This is unbelievable. Yannick, congratulations. I have to pinch you. This is not a dream. You've just beaten Novak Djokovic, 24-time Grand Slam champion, uh, legend of the game, 10 times he won the Australian Open, and you just basically hit him off the court out there. How does that feel? <laughs> no, it feels amazing. Obviously, it, uh, it was a tough, a tough match. I, I, I knew this already before uh, entering the court, but I felt like I was hitting the ball great. Um, the first two sets, he was missing a lot, and um, I think for them from the third set, you know, the the, the level was well, was even. I had match point in third, and um, but this is this is tennis, not trying to reset as soon as possible and and as fast as possible. And I, f I felt like that I was serving great today. Um, you know, uh, returning also really well, and then you know the the outcome obviously makes me really happy. <laughs> How did you do that uh, after having that match point in the tiebreak in the third? I thought that forehand was a little shaky. maybe little shaky, 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 slightly yeah. shaky. How do you just put that away and just you know went full straight forward again in the fourth set? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it was really shaky, <laughs> but um, but. <laughs> but I, I feel like you know this is. Uh, um, I wanted to 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 play it inside in, and then after I said ah, I I play inside out, and you know with with many thoughts and, but this happens, no? It's uh, the legs got a bit heavy. Yeah, it's yeah, also the legs, but um, but as I said, I, I for me it was really important the uh, the first game in the fourth set, uh, which I played really well, and um, you know I just tried to to keep pushing. I I had break points on one zero also, which I I, I couldn't convert, but um, you know I. I was looking forward for this match. I, I, I felt like that that I was prepared also also physically, not only mentally and, and, and obviously really happy. Yeah, you've done extremely well. And somebody who always believed in you yesterday uh, when we had our show was uh, Tim Henman and Mats Villander. They said, okay. Yannick is going <laughs> to win this thing. And, and, and here they are. What do you say? They had so much faith in you. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Really appreciate it. <laughs> no. Is there anything uh, you well want to say, guys? <laughs> yeah, well done, Yannick. Congratulations. I mean, yeah, congratulations. We were just talking that playing Novak uh, three times in like 10 days last year. We thought that would maybe make the difference in your mind that you now know him. Did that make a big difference to you? 
Yeah, uh, for sure. But I feel like Grand Slams are are different, also also mentally. Um, but you know, for me, this was a great test, uh, also to see where I am, also physically, and and um, I think I I dig really deep. Um, also, also the fourth set was very tough, especially the game uh, three one to go four one. Um, knowing that this was my my last game with with the used balls, then uh, from four two was uh, there were new balls, and it was a little bit. Um, easier to surf, but still, it's. Um, um, I'm obviously really happy, and and last year I I felt like uh, that that was a privilege, not to play against him so many times uh, in in ten days, and 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 obviously playing match against this kind of players is always much better than than, than only practice, and for me this was really important. Uh, before we let you go, Tim and Mats, you're the oracle there in in London. What do you think is going to happen in the finals? I mean, we don't know who Yannick is playing, but what do you what do you guys think? What are you feeling? Oh, it's a tough one, isn't it? I mean, uh, I was just thinking physically. Obviously, you played six matches, Yannick, but your opponents, both Zverev and Medvedev, have played so many long matches. Are you hoping for a five set epic tonight? <laughs> Yeah, I will. I will for sure enjoy to watch it. No, I'm. Uh, I'm I will be relaxed. I will go to it as uh, as always, and and also trying not to think uh, so much about about the final. Um, for me, as I always said, this is a process. I'm happy to be in the final, and 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 then we see what's coming. Obviously, uh, finals are a little bit different, but I'm 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 really happy that I that I put myself into this position, trying to fight for for one of the biggest trophy of of this sport. No, so I will try to stay as relaxed as possible, and I'm um, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, I think yeah. we have to let you go now, Yannick. Thank you, thank you so, well much. Thank you so thank much. much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Great playing. Good yeah. luck. Thank you so much.